actually begin here on my knees with my feet underneath me. If this is too uncomfortable for you, then just go ahead and go into crisscross position like that. And well, let's settle in here, bring our hands in towards our chest, bring our head towards our heart. And my fingers here into my chest always is a little signal to myself that it's, uh, it's time to lift up my chest, right? It's kind of that little signal. And then the chest lifts, shoulder blades come together and I remind myself to shine through because sometimes we get stuck in a slouchy, rounded shoulder position. And this reminds me to open up, to lift up, to stand tall and proud in my body, to own my body and connect and be grateful for where I am right here and right now. So just let all the negativity go, anything outside of you, all the events from the past are over, done and gone. Inhaling in and exhale, connecting to your breath, knowing that today is a new day. Every day is a chance to start fresh, to create exactly the life that you want. No matter what has happened yesterday, always expecting the positive for yourself. And seal that in with a nice breath in. Exhale, release it out. Beautiful, and blink the eyes open. Go ahead and take a nice side bend here. So reach over to the side and up. And again, if it feels more comfortable, you can go into a crisscross position instead and reach. Lift up and reach over to the side. Soften the shoulders. Inhale in and exhale and come on up. Nice. Now I'm going to use the pad here underneath my knees. Come into all fours, hands underneath shoulders knees underneath hips and take a few cat cows right here inhale in exhale such a easy nice rejuvenating pose right here inhale in again let the chest shine allow yourself to be open to be free exhale push the floor away one more time inhale in exhale push the floor away, beautiful. Now you're gonna reach the left leg out to the side and we're just gonna do a few little rocks back and up and back and up. This is a great one to open up the groin, the inner thighs and hips and rock back and up, beautiful. Lift the left or right arm up towards the sky and we're gonna thread it through all the way underneath ourselves. Good, so that leg is out there. It might feel a little challenging, but that's okay. And come on up and then place the hand down. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Inhale in, exhale, thread it all the way through and hold here for just a moment. Breathe. Enjoying this even slight inversion here where the head is lower than the hips. So that's gonna create some blood flow to the head, which will help energize your brain. Good, inhale in and exhale. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So place the other foot out to the side and just rock forward and back. This is such a good hip opener, especially because the leg is to the side, because our legs usually go forward and back, right? Because we're walking or if you're a runner or cycler, but we don't often actually take our leg all the way to the side. So it's good to create this range of motion. Good, we're gonna lift the left arm up. Inhale, exhale, thread it through towards the foot. And then inhale in, exhale, place it down. Now let's go the opposite way of the foot. Inhale, exhale, twist, hold here. So this is gonna deepen the stretch of that bottom leg. Take a nice big deep breath in. So I'm using this hand to take my twist as deep as I want. So use the hand there, make sure that the foot is flat on the ground. Maybe you can look up towards the sky and place the hand down. Come out of it the way you came in and good, place the hand down. All right, so now we're going to move over to the side where we're going to take the leg out Actually, let's start kind of like in a low lunge. Let's do a low lunge here so you can feel this first. So just a nice, easy low lunge. Hands are here on the floor. Lift the chest up. Good, and then reach it back. 
A nice half splits pose. Feel the bottom of the leg starting to open up. Reach through the arms, reach through the legs. And then let's flow forward and back a bit. Inhaling in and exhale all the way back. And then inhale in and exhale back. Good, and then now from here, we're gonna turn towards the front. So I'm kind of switch over and my foot's gonna go to the side and come all the way up. Nice, so now we're gonna rock into this hip here. Lots of hip opening today, which is usually everyone's tightest area. And when you have a tight hip, it's going to affect the knees and the back. So when you open this up, you will probably notice a lot of relief in so many other places of the body. Good, three and two and one. Good, and come all the way up. Feels really good, right? Now we're gonna turn the toes forward. Now my hips are forward. And we're gonna take a nice side stretch here into gate pose. Reach all the way over. You're gonna feel the side body stretch out. That feels really, really good. Reach long through the body. Good, and then we're gonna take this hand all the way to the floor. Lift up and just reach up through the leg and through the arm. Good, a little activation through the hips as we stretch them. So let's flow through here a few times. Really waking up the body, getting ready for your most amazing day ever, right? Because every day, is your most amazing day ever because it is where your life is here and now up and over to the side beautiful okay so now let's go to the other side let's take a nice lunge here so lunge it forward and you don't have to use the pillow here i'm just showing you how you can incorporate it into your practice Usually when I'm home, I literally do just take a, my bed pillow and put it under my knee if I need to. Good, and back. And let's flow it forward, forward, and back. Stretching out the hamstrings, the low back, the hips. Even the feet here are getting a lot of good mobility and flexibility. Inhale and exhale. Good. I mean, I love my coffee, don't get me wrong, but there's also so much power in waking up by moving your body, you know? I like to, I like to have both, coffee and movement, right? <laughs> okay, so let's come on up and then we're gonna take a nice, the lunge here to the side. Good, so just make sure the foot's over to the side so the foot's pointing that way and the hips are forward. I'm just doing a nice little opening here. Feels really, really good. And these hip sockets, right? The hip can go so many places because it's the hip and socket. So it has a circular motion, but we kind of get stuck in this linear range. And if we cut off this circulation or cut off this range of motion, that's where it can cause weakness. It can cause tightness and pain in the back and knees. Good. And come all the way up, nice. Now we're gonna move into our gate pose. So just reach the toes forward. So you wanna make sure that the tailbone's tucked under, abs are pulled in, and we're just gonna reach over to the side. Pull the abs in, make sure that you're not sticking it out here like this, so this all stays contained. Ribs are down, just like that. If you need to find the ribs down, just cough. That gets everything in the perfect position. And then we're gonna switch over to the side, just to open, activate those hips a bit in this new range of motion to create strength as we open up. Good, inhale and exhale. Nice flowing around the body. Reach, feel that nice side body stretch and a reach. Last one and all the way up. Good, now just go ahead and circle all the way down and we're just gonna move that pillow out of the way and then press back into a downward facing dog. Feel the back of the legs, stretch out, release. Nice, and then bring the knees down. And we're gonna reach the arms forward. Let's come into our puppy pose to release the shoulders. Again, this is another slight inversion. Good, holding it here. 
feels really, really good. Open up the chest and shoulders, getting yourself ready for the day, for your new exciting day ahead. And then right here, just open up the knees, just slide them all the way out as far as you can. And we're gonna take this nice frog pose here, sitting the hips back and coming forward, sitting it back, really opening up the hips. We did some amazing hip stretches today. Good, inhale in and just know that this video is here for you to do over and over again. It's something I highly recommend doing is getting into a routine to just pop on the video and just move, set your intention for the day, connect to your body before anything else so that you can live with intention and you're not in reaction mode. And when you're living in intention, you can create whatever it is that you wanna create in your life. All right, let's sit on back. Last little stretch here on our toes. Make sure that the pinkies are forward as well. Bring the hands to the heart center. Take a nice big deep breath in and then go ahead and let go of that stretch. I love that one for the toes, it's pretty challenging. It's good to do every single day. So bring your hands in, bow your head down towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude. Thanking yourself for showing up, thanking your body for being there for you every single day. Namaste. Beautiful, beautiful work. I'm Action Jacqueline. Great job today, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy to have you here if you're new here. Definitely check out all of my other yoga and bar videos that I have for you and Pilates as well. Subscribe to the channel, like it, comment down below, and I'll see you in our next workout. Bye.